Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to do a soap call using load runner. So first uh, I'm opening the vision. After opening the vision, I'm creating a new script. In new script, I'm selecting the web services here. Yeah, select the web services. So here in this action we can we can create our we can do a uh, soap call. So uh, in the action we need to write our soap call request. So I already designed I already designed a simple soap call which will uh, get if which will convert the num uh, number into words. Okay, so this is a temporary uh, API call uh, soap API call. So this is the soap. This is the method which we need to use to send a soap request. And there is a name what I'm giving for my soap request. Uh, this is the expected response as any soap. So if you want to particular uh, uh, path, then you can mention a particular path here to uh, uh, to get a to expect that in your response. And uh, this is the URL endpoint where you are uh, sending your request. And uh, this is the uh, soap request what we are uh, uh, need to send. Okay, and uh, uh, we are using the snapshot, and I'm saving the the result into a param. So we can use this param uh, for future uh, requirements. So if you want to add this uh, in uh, mix uh, multiple protocol, then uh, you need to create your script using multi protocol and you can add the uh, soap request or you can uh, what you can do is like you can go to the uh, global dot h and global dot h global dot h uh, header file and you can add the required uh, headers as web uh, soap and uh, web underscore api dot h uh, uh, header files and uh, you can uh, uh, you can uh, start your uh, soap request in HTML web web and HTML protocol as well. So in, this is the request body which we, we have in the soap call or uh, post body basically. Uh, and this is the parameter that we need to send for this request. So I have now currently have made our code. So if you want to send this request with parameterization. Uh, we can do parameters by using parameters and sending the value dynamically. So let's run this request once. Yeah, so I have, I have added the logger uh, of the response. So this is the response what we got. So I have given 100 there. Uh, so we got the response of 100 here. So if you open here request, so I'm passing the 100 as a parameter. And we got the uh, 100 inwards. And if you see that logger, so we have, I have added the a logger here, LR output message uh, with the starting with stars and the printer message. So this is a result, result is a variable which we am, I, am, I have used in my request. So for the this request and number conversion, the server is expecting the content type as XML text by XML. So I'm using the content type text by XML. So for more, this is the uh, way we can add the headers to our soap call. So web underscore add underscore header. Uh, the first parameter will be in our uh, header name and second parameter will be a uh, header value. So for this will add the headers to the below request. So uh, if you want to add any other request like soap action or something, so you can copy this, uh, you can copy this and uh, paste it here and change the header name. So soap action. Soap action. So this is how we can add the multiple headers as well. So now we are not expecting any soap action. So I'm disabling it. Uh, so not only soap action, you can add any kind of headers here. So yeah, now we got the response. So if you want to do uh, multiple soap calls, so you can copy paste the soap calls, or you can create a multiple actions as per your requirement. Uh, thanks for the reference.